just by looking at me, you can't tell what I'm going through. And, and you can't tell what anybody's going through just by looking at a person. June 14th of 2014, uh, I was having trouble breathing and I went to the uh, doctor and they believed that I had had some type of respiratory episode. The ambulance came and picked me up and took me to the hospital. Uh, while I was in the emergency room, a doctor comes in and says, you're in heart failure. Another doctor came in uh, and said, you're also in kidney failure. And uh, so I start to think, that's two major organs. This can't be good. Um, that Sunday, uh, my nephrologist, who I didn't know what a nephrologist was up until that point, came in and uh, said, you, you need a transplant. And uh, that sort of started my journey in that direction. When, when we first found out that, that my kidneys had failed, my nine-year-old or 10-year-old, he was seven at the time. He, I think, took it the hardest. Uh, he is a very physical boy, and, and I couldn't be physical with him anymore. I couldn't wrestle with him anymore. I take every opportunity I can to tell people my story. A lot of times when I meet new people, they've already met my wife, and so they might get some hint that something's going on with me. I've had people ask me, very specific questions about dialysis and about how I feel, and I just tell them the story. With organ donation, you can actually help somebody. You can help their quality of life. You can give them a quality of life that they otherwise won't have. You can save their life. Um, there are not many other illnesses that you can do that for a person.